It's approximately 2.15 p.m. Idaho time and the court is currently on a recess. I'll just give you the rundown really quick as to where we are right now. For opening statements, you had Lindsey Blake for the prosecution and John Thomas came on for the defense and he was real quick just letting you know what a great mother Lori was and that they don't have to prove her innocent that the defense has to prove her guilty our first witness Kay Woodcock she got on the stand she got emotional a little bit and they just went through the like JJ was born who he was born to and that Lori and Charles adopted him and how Lori was MIA and how Kay was a part of their lives and Kay talked about getting into Charles's Amazon account and seeing that Lori was looking for Malachi rings before Tammy had even died. And they showed some pictures that we couldn't see um, of JJ. And then next up, then Kay was dismissed as a witness. Next up, Brandon Boudreaux. He, Kay was wearing like a yellow shirt. That's all I know from the sketch that was made. And so next up was Brandon Boudreaux. He came in wearing a white collared shirt and a lavender tie. He is on the stand. He also got a little emotional talking about JJ being, um, JJ hanging out with his, one of his sons and how JJ loved traveling and he had suitcases and they talked about um, Melanie and how she really got into the church in 2018 and started going to the temple every day. Even during their Disney trip, she had to go to the temple every day. Melanie started attending firesides and a fireside is an event that is put on by LDS members but not put on by the church. And it was definitely made known that Brandon wasn't welcome to these fireside events and neither was Charles, but Lori went. And then Brandon also said he had heard Melanie Gibb went. That was hearsay and the judge struck that from the record. So Brandon is fixing to talk about the attempt on his life that happened October 2nd. And that's what we'll hear when they come back from recess. Just wanted to give you a quick update. I will see you soon.